Well, hopefully you remember Darwin's theory of natural selection. If you don't, just recall that Darwin's theory states that the organisms best with the traits best suited for their environment are most likely to reproduce and therefore pass on their traits. One type of natural selection that came uh, to be uh, discovered far after um, Darwin's time is the theory of directional selection. Now this concept, um, uh, along with stabilizing selection and disruptive selection, explains one pathway for organisms in terms of natural selection. So when you think of directional selection, imagine that uh, the mean or the average phenotypes, if this is the mean here, or the average uh, traits or phenotypes shown in a population is shifted to one direction or the other. Either is fine. So in essence, we're talking about shifting direction. Um, in this example to the right, moths, okay, um, these populations of moths can be born in a variety of different traits. They can be born black, white, gray, um, you know, all these varieties in between. Um, but as you could see, um, these trees, um, these black darkened trees, um, sort of, they, they must uh, confer an advantage over these uh, of these black or darker moths over these light moths because the birds, um, you know, are going to fly in and be able to see only the white moths. So predators can get the white moths. And so therefore these black moths are selected for showing an extreme of a population that's going to show up more in a population called directional selection. In the picture to the right, when uh, humans figured out that this pollution, um, you know, is really bad for the environment, is bad for the trees, bad for humans, uh, they decided to clean it up. And therefore, the trees went back to their original, um, you know, shades of, of maybe lighter colors. And therefore, the white moths were more selected for, and these black moths were, were picked off by, the, by their predators. So directional selection or a shift towards uh, an extreme phenotype in a population can be seen in many populations and it can take place in either direction. Make a quick chart for yourself to compare directional, disruptive, and stabilizing selection so that you can study for your own self-edification. Check out those videos. Good luck.